Yes, no. Bro, I'm not bro, trying we to talked do about this. this. Come bro, on. Bro, come... I'm not, I'm bro, not, I'm not playing with you. Come like, on. Bro, like, come Say on. it. Say it right now. Chamberscourses.com. Best online class. I mean, what else is there to say? For real though, ChambersCourses.com, best online classes ever to learn production, new content every single month. Sign up now. We already got a bunch of people signed up and they're loving it because you don't want to miss out on this content because I'm I'm not putting it on this YouTube channel. But anyway, see what's crazy was the piano was actually on this time. But yeah, so today we're going to be making a beat for Juice Jack Harlow. It's going to be like one of the slower like R&B like chords vibe ones, kind of like first class but not too much like it as you can see we're set up here in ableton and what i did was i came up with this little chord progression so i played a b minor chord b minor seventh just like that and a great way to learn more about music theory and chords some chords nine chords triads all that music theory masters course on my website hands down the best way like hundreds of people have been helped from that mad people email me every single day saying the music theory masters course changed their life it's definitely one of the best ways to learn music theory for producers today so go check that out link in the description and the comment section but yeah so i have this b minor seven chord and then i added two octaves of the e note i go down from the e to d and when I hit that second note, I'm changing this chord. See, I'm taking my pinky off the A, and I'm taking my ring finger off the F sharp, and I'm just going to the G. So it's like this. It's just the B, D, G. And that's when we go from the E to the D. So it's like this. Then I go down to the C with the root note, and I go back to that B minor seven chord. We're just at the C note now. Then we head back up and do the same thing, like the other way around. Pretty simple. So here's what that looks like. As you can see, it's very heavily based on the B minor triad chord right here. We got the bass notes down here, and I added some melodic elements, just some just some notes in between. And again, you can learn a whole lot more about this in my Music Theory Masters course. But here's what we have so far. Just add some reverb and delay to it. Just little melodic elements. So basically what I did after that, I went to my, that thing right there, Prophet 6, and I added some pad sounds to it. I added this normal pad. Then I added another one where I added some more effects to it, made it sound kind of crazy, just for some more texture to it. So what I'm gonna do with this piano. See so why I picked the piano up two semitones? Cause I wanna do that, then I wanna convert it into audio. And then now that I have an audio, I'm going to take it and pitch it down two semitones in here and put it on stretch mode. It's going to give it a different type of sonic quality when you do it when it's audio. Instead of just pitching the MIDI down, when you pitch down the audio, it sounds different. It sounds more like a sample. Next, I added a vocal sample real quick. Time for the drums. I'm gonna use my undeniable drum kit. It's just my favorite. Like, bro, I use it on almost everything. It's perfect for this. I'm gonna grab a clap, get a hi hat. It's gonna be fast hi hats. I'm gonna grab a kick, very important. Open hi hat, grab some percussion, shaker, snares, and of course the 808. Let's add the drums. I'm gonna start with the 808. Let's just have the piano playing. So remember our root note, we started at E, right? Then back up. I'm gonna change it when we do the kick pattern, but I'm gonna leave it as that for now. Let's add the clap on the two and the four counts this time, not the three and the seven, because it's faster. Hi hats is not Philly's two steps. Now it's like, it's Phil, everybody, bro. And we grab the kick, we do a three count in the beginning like this. I 
Let's get down to some tone. This is just in the 808 pattern, a little octave jump right there. Add the open hi hat. Add some percussion. Shaker. There we go, pretty much. Just like a really spaced out vibey beat, focus on the chords, really, and the sound selection. And especially the bounce of the drums when it's at like 100 BPM is different. Everything is doing their own thing. But yeah, so that's how I would make like a, a modern RB type beat for like a Jack Harlow type vocalist. Remember, Music Theory Masters Chords, if you're interested in learning much more about music theory and just creating chord progressions and great melodies, that's at chambersmixedit.com slash soundkiss, along with my undeniable drum kit, which we use for the drums today. Hit super hard every time. And of course, chamberscourses.com to join my online class. I'm very excited to have you. So much content coming soon every single month. Anyone who gets the kit or anyone who's signed up for the online class, always feel free to email me with any questions or any beats or loops that you're making for a critique or feedback or whatever and i'll always be down to talk to you guys thank you all for watching let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future let's keep on building up the channel it's chambers and i'll see you on the next one peace